Hey folks, Mr. McStash in the McStash Garage. Um, today we received a package from Compact Camp, the camper store. This is the ball hitch on my Quick Camp. Um, you guys know I have that now. You've seen a few videos of that. But what I purchased was the Heim joint. Um, what that is, is this replaces the ball on your motorcycle. This end replaces this on your thing, on your trailer. And then they go together like this. You have a nice wide movement there and you have a nice wide movement there um do you need these well let's set it to you this way the ball on the hitch mount here will do about 18 degrees the bike i pull this with the o4 will do 38 degrees now 38 degrees is when my floorboards hit and they sparks start flying so most people you can figure get about 20 degrees on a regular basis out of their bike so is this sufficient probably but i ask you should you wear a helmet probably mr mcstash has had a problem that did not have a helmet he was i was in an accident in 2007 and I did not have a helmet on um, lost the hearing in my left ear and survived but that's about all that happened so do you need a helmet Meh. which is the reason why I purchased the Heim do I need it not until you need it so I'm going to show you how simple and easy this is I'm taking the bolts out bolts and washers out of the original piece here mine are just 9 16 i'm sure it varies depending on the make in the year and the model and all that stuff but we're going to take that out i pre-measured by the the things they gave me and several people i've talked to have used the uh cozy camp setup so what you have to measure is here and inside here. I'm going to mute this because it tells me I need to clean the edge here. Okay, hope you enjoyed that music. Now they do supply a sleeve here to where if you're... Uh, <laughs> this is run through the... The tongue you'll have room with your sleeve right there but basically what you do you slide it in there you line up the holes you reuse the original hardware tighten it to like I think it's 18 foot pounds on there on the nut and bolt here and that's it you're good now on the other end, just as simple. You take your ball off and you insert this. It also comes with, where's that here? Here it is. With a lock and a key. I can't get it out. So this lock unhooks this. So when you're when you're pulling it on the trailer. You lock like so, and you know you're good on there. I mean, my goodness, if that uh, if that don't give you enough movement to to more than happily be in there, then there. Um, as I said, do I need this? No. But do you drop your bike? Happens. Do you need a helmet? Should have. So, I mean... You know, folks, they say always get the right tool for the right job.
so I did. I got the roundy adjustable wrench for the roundy thing and the big nut adjustable wrench for the big nut. I have a feeling this is going to be, eh, it's not as bad as what I thought, but you know when you go to take these balls off it's always a pain in the butt. One, because normally they've been on there for years and two, because this is where all the dirt is. You ride back here, all the dirt from here goes up here and, and bothers all this crap. So, yeah. Remember to penetrate in oil and cuss and swear when you go to do one of these. Also remember to bring everything what you need. Okay, so I did. I just didn't know what I did with it. It's right here. <laughs> so. We took the old ball off. We put the pin on there. Pin, pin in there. Pindle, whatever you want to call it. And we'll go there. Oh! We don't need to round it anymore. We need a, another... Yeah, this is somewhere around the 28 millimeter range, which I don't have, but I do have two top shelf Mississippi torque wrenches. So we will use those instead. And believe it or not, there's a right way and a wrong way to use a Mississippi torque wrench. My buddy from Mississippi taught me this. You got to use it so this is where your strength is. If you're pulling, you want to pull that way, not this way. That is the proper way to use a Mississippi torque wrench. All right, there you go, folks. Slide your hook down on there. Put your lock through there. And lock it up. You won't have no problem with it coming off there. I know, you're saying, is it really that simple? Is it really that cool? So, as you can see, I have my keys here. Just so you know, they go to this bike. <laughs> Not that you doubt it. But yeah, this screws off. That gap. And you don't need to take it all the way off. I mean, you can obviously put it in there and, you know, do some tricks like that. But no, it is just, a, it's a thread thing. So this threads on and off. I can't. But it will not turn without the key. And you can't take the key out. Or it will not, you can't like shove a screwdriver in there and use it. So that's how that is. And this looks like it could maybe possibly at times give you a fight there. I don't know. Let's see. So take our leg out and then we'll... Oh. Hang on, we'll put the leg down. Remove the wheel chuck. That might make it a tad bit easier, huh? So we'll pick it up. Raise the legs down and drop it on there. Yep. Yep. There is a slight bit of a of a learning curve there. It's not too bad. Figure it out after a minute or two. Um, or after a time or two. And then you just put that on there. Crank her up. Pretty simple. Not going to do too much moving in there. But it is going to give plenty of... See if I can do this without knocking the bike over. 
Looks like it is going to give you plenty of movement there. There you go, folks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our Patreon. Helping local vets with your hard earned money. Love on your family. Check on your buddy. And when you get back out there, folks, keep it rubber side down. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.